<laughs> Hi you guys, my name is Guru Shakia and welcome to my beautiful channel. Welcome to Sunny Ash Florida as always. <laughs> I am here with your weekly love reading and we're just going to get right into it. So a lot of you guys are facing temptation, a lot of <laughs> um, sex, a lot of getting back with your ex, a lot of going back and forth with someone who's very indecisive. Um, I do feel like some of you guys will be getting over a person this week. You'll be moving past this person who's very, like, uh, tugging to your energy, who's very playful and childlike. Um, I get that this person just doesn't know how to feel towards you, or they just, um, I don't know, I feel like they may be, like, uh, very, if this resonates with you, they might be in a lot of drugs. They might uh, be a heavy drug user. and It is in reverse, but um, because you will be getting over it this week. Um, something that was a major obsession for you, someone who's a, a major obsession with you, um, from the past or things of that nature. Um, but this person will be, uh, either being put on hold more so, like, um, I feel like you feel like this person may be of great importance in your life, but you can't deal with them right now. Um, especially not romantically. So I feel like someone you may have been interested in this week um, will just be put on hold and you you don't want to really deal with <laughs> uh, them kind of fucking up your energy. <laughs> Alright, so the next, the next card here is Shadow. So this has to do with a twin flame and um, a past life lover. So I feel like someone may have came back in your life or you may have manifested your twin flame. But again, um, some of you guys are moving past these stages. So some of you guys... Um, you may have crossed paths with your twin flame, but you are not ready to have a union. It's not, um, you can't really be together, uh, this lifetime or this, or this at this time. But, um, or it could also mean that you came encountered someone that you felt is your, is your soulmate or your twin flame, but you may have been mistaken or something of that nature. You're just really, um, it's a feeling of you have, you have many options in the air of where you want to go. And um, I feel like my guys are saying you have offers. So uh, go ahead and choose the person that you want to be with. So the next one here is wisdom. Um, a lot of you guys have like school. A school. This gives me an energy of um, liking someone in a school at school. So maybe you're in college or maybe you're in high school. Mostly a college energy, but you, you're, you're like... You you want to get? I feel like this is a feeling of wanting to move on or move forward from someone that, from school. Like some some of you might have met in school or uh, something of that nature. Like maybe they cheated on you, maybe they uh, did you wrong in some way. But you're holding on to some past traumas this week, like that may be coming up to light. Like you may have met someone this week that may be shedding. Um, they might come up to you and be like, "Hey, I noticed that you're holding on to this past." Uh, event like someone's gonna be telling you like it is this week about your love life um especially if you're a male um y your best friend is kind of going to be going to put you in check they're going to be like well you're holding on to this what this girl did to you and you're hurting you're hurting yourself and every mostly every woman that you encounter um type thing like you uh you might <laughs> someone might tell you that you're like bull bulldozing bulldoze bulls <laughs> i can't say that word right um, you're just, you know, hurting people's feelings because of how uh, of someone doing you wrong. So I feel like um, if you're a male, you, your best friend will probably be sitting you down this week. Um, you might be the friend who will be doing the sitting, the, the sitting down. But it's more of an energy like your friend will tell you like it is. Like, uh, look, your love life is suffering because X, Y, Z. You need to get it together or you will be, you know, <laughs> um, like, you know, on your own type shit for a while. Um, again, some of you guys are getting past your twin flame. So this, this just gives me an energy of very, uh, traumatic experience because maybe you felt like someone is your twin flame, but, um, it's a very destructive energy. It's like a lashing out, like, um, yeah, it's just a lashing out energy that you're getting past this week. Like maybe, um, you feel like it's, it's like forgiveness. Like you have to, if you're, if this resonates with you, it's more so of like, you have to forgive yourself and others for messing up or making mistakes. Um, the next card here is transformation. Um, so it came in reverse. So a lot of you guys are actually uh, 
I feel like you're making, you're in the midst of a transition this week as far as like your wardrobe, your appearance, and like you're actually taking a leap of faith in your dating life. So some of you are like, oh, fuck it, you know, jumping in cold water. Like you're no longer iffy. You're just like, okay, shit, this didn't work out, so I'm going to try next person. This didn't work out, so I'm going to try next person, which should have been your dating life all along. (laughs) Um, My guys want to say never put your eggs in one basket. So this is just this is for energy of someone who has um, changed their wardrobe or is changing their look, or in the midst of thinking of doing so. But it has sparked your dating life. Um, it has changed something in you that makes you want to like take risk in your dating life. And if you're not, if you're in a position where you're not taking enough risk, maybe changing your wardrobe will help you do so. Like being more confident in your skin, um, whichever way that is for you, will help you take risk in your love life. Um, My guys say a lot of couples will be getting married or thinking or contemplating or talking of marriage this week. So look out for any conversations like someone may be sitting you down for dinner to have a serious conversation or a proposal. Um, the next one here is the third eye shocker. So this is seeing, seeing someone for who they are. So this is for anyone you have in mind specifically um, in love, dating, and couples all of those things if you're single and you just have someone specific in mind you will be seeing someone's true color this week um maybe you'll be asked out on a date and you'll be seeing someone who for who they truly are um my guys want to say give everyone a chance um so basically if you're asked out go ahead and take the date and see so you can see who this person really is you can't really see my guys are saying over text and emails and things of that nature you have to really you know vibe and chill together um be- the beach came up, so you may be going to the beach this weekend or this week. Um, there will be a lot of getting out on the beach, like often, like a lot of deep conversation and like intellectual conversations, um, a lot of heart to hearts, things of that nature. Um, a new gentleman, my God, is saying, or a new girl is coming into your life, or couples, you will be spending more time out in nature and the beach or um, things of that nature, just exploring more. Um, I feel like if you're coupled, my guys are also saying you will be getting more in depth with each other, touching areas that you have never seen of each other that will spark a romantic um, interest. And for singles, you will be vibing one-on-one with someone special this week. Um, I feel like this person who, uh, if you're single, this person will sweep you off your feet and they will kind of like win your heart uh, quite quickly. Now, this is about sexual power. Um, my guys want to say stop being approved. So maybe you haven't had sex in a long time and maybe you do have a lot of options. My guys want to say you do have a lot of options that you are just not being aware of. Um, and my guys are saying it's as simple as asking for what you need and, you know, the person will give it to you without judgment. Um, so this is for a person that you feel safe with. I feel like maybe pick someone you feel like is not going to (laughs) be self self-pleasing or uh and my guys say you kind of know who this person is so someone who pick the person that gives you the most attention my guys are saying so uh who isn't who's gonna feel like they're gonna um hold up their end of the stick in bed like they're not gonna be too like like oh i'm gonna get get off but and then like just send you home type shit but pick pick the one that's going to you know be 50 50 in bed and you kind of have this intuitive feeling of who that is um the next one here is positive movement forward so i don't know i feel like it's just very good news in your love life uh all the general in all in general if you're watching this video right now it's just just a lot of love happening this week um especially thursday came up so like someone may be like I don't know where soulmates came up. So um, keep a lookout for Thursday. I just want to say for who, who's ever watching this video. It's just a uh, very good luck energy. I feel like travel is coming soon. So maybe like a road trip or a cruise. Or you may be, you may be uh, finalizing something of that. Like a romantic trip with your soulmate uh, this Thursday. Or it's something that's very spur of the moment. Because like. I feel like you're you're meeting someone or you met someone who's um, very, uh, who travels or like who has this lust to travel. Um, I feel like 
<laughs> you're going to meet someone who's very like airy and the both of you together are going to like create something like magical type thing like just go on road trips dates that are like romantic and very spur of the moment because I feel like both of you guys like one of you guys have like a very big imagination and one of you guys have like the action to take and actually do it so you're gonna have a lot of fun I want to say Thursday it gives me an energy of like skipping work <laughs> and to go out on a date or to you know a trip on a whim so let me know how that goes, you guys. And then the word Sagittarius did come up in the air sign. So maybe it's Sagittarius in the air sign if that resonates with you. Next, the last one here is light. So um, my guys want to assure you that you will have everything that you need. A lot of these signs are facing away from you because it's like problem solved. So like there's a person who's being released in your life that was holding you back, um, keeping you stagnant and from seeing clearly. But then there's also another person that's going to bring a lot of like sex, uh, sex power energy uh traveling romance things of that nature they're going to cater to you basically um i do get a sense like this person this new person will spoil you spoil you a lot as far as like affection um physically mentally spiritually type thing like adorn you with gifts and um how you should be treated but yeah so that's it you guys that is this week's love energy let me know how it goes. The like, subscribe, comment, and let me know what other videos videos you guys wanted me to make. Sorry for the background noise and peace.